What's up, man? How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Good, good, good. Uh, I'm here in New York at uh, Phillips Space, and uh, wanted to say thanks for you know spending time to chat. Nice. Uh, we got the 20th Century Contemporary Art um, sale that's going to happen on July 2nd. You know, they invited us to just kind of talk a little bit about the works, but I think also thinking about these works in the context of what's happening now. And uh, so we'll go through a couple of works and then keep it flowing. So the first artist is um, Noah Davis. This piece is 100 years of entertainment. So it's actually five panels that exist as one group. But then if you look at each painting individually, it also tells a story within the story. And just thinking about like the entertainment industry and you know, particularly the prevalence of folks of color within that space, and that's kind of been a space where they've been able to thrive to a degree. One of the pieces, it looks like some type of jewelry box and people like dancing around it. Yeah, literally from um, Jim Crow ragtime till now, just we have been entertainment for Western culture. Yes. And so I take this title as quite, quite dark, you know? But this dude's life was art, you know? Even creating underground museum maybe a living living art he created a living art yes. piece we would define the uh, underground museum as a social sculpture because it's something that's continuing to evolve change i think he's done the thing regardless of race what all artists are trying to achieve is immortal immortality yeah. you know yeah. this piece carrie may weems untitled from the series sea islands where you have these three photographs of this architectural structure accompanied by this poem you know, this made me think a lot about just the idea of just place, um, home, because it, it, it gives you instructions on what to do when you move in yeah. to a place, move into a space. But I also like the cinematic approach. It's like, you know, you almost have these three frames and then like the instructions are almost a script. Um, you as the viewer activate the piece. And there's something there too with the first picture and the last picture with its... Uh -huh. Pictures repeat it, but the yeah. that window door is open. So next piece is by Christina Quarles. The piece is called Place. Her work deals with issues around queerness, around identity, around the body. The top figure is embracing the figure that's below it. Yeah. It's like yeah. that to me that's just saying something about intimacy. Like yeah. you know, that feeling of when you're in the bed with someone or kissing someone and like and you really love them, really want them, you almost want to envelop them, you know? But even looking at the title, Placed, you know, for me, it also sounds like this grounding. For me, it's, it's a really exceptional work. The next piece I wanted to talk about was Charles White. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. When I saw the title, it made me think about Odetta, the folk singer, did a version of the song, and then I came to realize that the song was actually um, it was a Negro spiritual. Title is dark because it's like, what does feeling like a motherless child really mean? It's not talking about your actual paternal mother, it's Mother Africa or black people not having a home. But then when you look at this picture, you see power. She's still prospering. Um, next piece is by uh, David Hammonds. Hidden drawing, Jordan begins eighth season as number one. He literally takes a page from the Amsterdam News, which is a newspaper uh, published in Harlem. Hammonds, you know, grew up, you know, played basketball in high school. And that is that dream of being a basketball player. Is not reachable in a sense of, a, just on a mathematical scale, there's 300 spots in the NBA. And millions of young black boys are trying to make it to that spot. And we're feeling we can either play music or play basketball or play sports. And that's another thing too, is like, uh, you know, basketball is a poor man's sport in the sense of you just need a basketball on the court. The main job of an artist is to talk about the human condition, right? So it's great to talk about some, these artists who are talking up about the human condition that, as it applies to, you know, the current events that were, go you know, going on in the world, you know, this new civil rights movement, uh, systematic racism, referring to people of color and women and the LGBT community. I just want to thank you, you know, for spending time 
chatting, going through these works and just sharing what you see. All right, Larry, thank you. And thank you to Phillips. All right, thank you. All right, I right, appreciate it. Thank you, Phillips. Oh, I'm, I'm going to walk off. <laughs>